It's ISE 2023, we're in Barcelona, we're in Hall 6 and we're on the Brainstorm booth. Uh, we've done one other video here on Brainstorm, so do check out that one. And I'm joined again by Miguel. Hi, Miguel. Hello again. So we've had a good chat about what you're doing here and now we're going to focus on the actual demonstration you're doing and what you're actually showing. Yeah, actually, this is uh, how Edison looks. As we see, Anthony is there on the green screen and now we're doing a presentation. Uh, by using a different uh, slide or a movie or a, any other asset there to enhance his looks. So he's in a, in a green screen and he's passing a, demo, a, a presentation, in this case with a video and showreel, and with just a clicker or a stream deck as it's had in his, ha in his hands, he can run the presentation inside this environment. The other thing is that we can also move the cameras because it's a fixed camera, it's a, just a webcam here, but we can move virtually the camera and change the looks and change the, the perspective and everything else. Right. On top of that, as I mentioned, uh, we have a full ecosystem, as you can see. There's Edison Go, which is that thing that uh, runs, on that application that runs in the, in the iPad, as I mentioned before. The eDesk is a pre-configured desk with all the peripherals, lights and uh, green screen pre prepared to just sit down and do the presentation yeah. with different formats, as you can see here. And also, we have the, the other things that come into place. That can be uh, movies coming in, can be uh, any other uh, backgrounds we can place the, the presenter in. And as I mentioned, running Edison is as easy as selecting a, a project, selecting a background, click it, and then once you have your project or your background selected, just drop, drag and drop whatever asset you want to be included in your presentation. Okay. So it's like a, getting a playlist yeah, of slides PowerPoint and files, objects, yeah. PowerPoints, PDFs, whatever you want to do that. Cool. So once you have that, you can just run the presentation. There is also a companion application which is called Edison On Demand that allows people that knows nothing about the presentation, they just have a a deck of slides or, or assets they want to present to just select the background, put that into into the into the software, drag and drop it, and start the presentation. Even using an HTML uh, uh, browser, wow, okay. so it can connect to the machine and run the presentation remotely. Just pretty amazing, and it also can be, um, as you can see, I was mentioning before the uh, ability to rotate the cameras, change the perspective, mm. change the camera view, do camera presets so you can click different presets and create new views at the moment, as you see. We didn't change the camera, but we have Anthony in a smaller environment. So this is the magic of 3D. We have a yeah, 3D yeah. environment and we can run through it and do a number of things that are impossible in video. And so can this all be controlled remotely? Yes. So yes. Anthony could be anywhere in the world with a green screen? At the moment, uh, he's well, in yeah. a green screen somewhere else, and somebody can, con uh, the, the one that's using the Edison can use a different camera preset, and he will be uh, yeah, yeah. sending Anthony to wherever we want to send him. Sure. And the other thing is that we have the Edison Go application that allows an iPad Pro or an iPhone Pro to send video and tracking information to Edison. So you, you would record any presentation, any environment, any uh, environment we are in, we can place Anthony in that environment, in this case in the green screen, and run the presentation from right. there. Or if we don't have a green screen, we can shoot the talent anywhere in the, in the place that he's in and run the presentation as an AR environment. Right, okay, yeah. And, and of course, add objects. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it, it looks pretty easy to set up as well. It is amazingly easy to set up. Yeah. Once it's done, I mean, it's just a, it's a click and play. Well, it's just three steps, as I mentioned yeah, yeah. before. Yeah. You just select the background, select the presentation, and click go. Of course, if you can go further, you can select different camera movements, you can select a number of things, and evolve your presentation as you go. Mm. And we're seeing the real-time camera tracking here, aren't we? Yes. So that's what's happening, that's real camera tracking. And this is the result of Rocio right now tracking the yeah the hole, sending the video, and in this case Edison is placing Anthony inside the hole. In hole six. Yeah. Which he is anyway. It's a slightly different place. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. Very good.
you know, as I mentioned, we can send objects, it's a 3D object on top of there, slide presentations, anything that can enhance your storytelling by using these kind of tools. Mm. Amazing. Good stuff. Brilliant. So, Anthony, this, uh, sorry, Miguel, that's <laughs> Anthony. Miguel, this is all available and shipping now, isn't it? Yeah, it's all available, ready to go, and we're already shipping some of them in Spain and Europe, and we're glad to keep it showing. Yeah. So for people that aren't here in IC, where can they find out more information? We're in Hall 6, stand uh, E700, just to be more precise. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Hall 6 at the end of the hall in, uh, in IEC yeah. 23. And the best website? Brainstorm? www.brainstorm3d.com. Brilliant. Miguel, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Do check out the website. It's a great demonstration. Do come over to Hall 6 if you are at ISA. For everything else we've been doing at the show, check out kitplus.com. <laughs>